turn to another subject. The U.S. pushed a resolution through the U.N. Security Council on Friday imposing new sanctions against North Korea, including sharp new limits on petroleum shipments to North Korea. And the vote got the support of both China and Russia. It was 15 to nothing in the Security Council. Doesn't that indicate that the Trump administration diplomacy to try to build up international support against North Korea is working? That was a good move. That was a, a major accomplishment. I, I give our team a lot of credit for getting that done. There are pretty strong additional sanctions to be imposed against North Korea because of their continued testing of ballistic missiles. So that is absolutely, it was a, it was a strong move forward. And it was great to see China and Russia join us in that. It now needs to be followed up with diplomacy where we get China and the United States working with the same strategy with North Korea to, to find a way that we can ease the tension and get North Korea to change directions. So it was a good first step. Another trouble spot, Ukraine. The president has agreed to sell lethal weapons to Ukraine, including anti-tank missiles, to fight the pro-Russian separatist forces there. This is a move that President Obama has consistently for years refused to make. Uh, will you support that or will you try to block the sale in Congress? I talked to Secretary Torreson earlier this week. I support the the the, the uh, administration's decision to provide these types of defensive weapons for the Ukrainians. It's a clear message to the Russians, to Russia, that we will not allow them to continue to compromise the sovereignty of Ukraine. Uh, Russia will continue to push as far as they can. It was important for the United States to tell the uh, Russia that we will support Ukraine's ability to defend itself. So I support the, the decision. Overall, 